told us the most complete believers in terms of their faith their iman are the ones who have the best manners and the best of you are the best to their wives subhanallah Allahu Akbar so brothers and sisters to kind of complete this topic of you know social media and the marriage and you know these other things that tie in with it because this is not a complete I'm just picking in certain points that I believe to be very important and pertinent I'm looking at my time as well over here so marriage to us is an act of worship, not a social transaction. It's an act of worship. Have that clear. When you get married to your wife, sister, when you get married to your husband, this is an act of worship. And to me, brothers and sisters, and I'll say this, and I've said it many times before, marriage is the longest, most continuous act of worship you'll do in your life. It spans 30, 40, 50, 60 years. You'll be in continuous ibadah in that marriage. Salah, it has a beginning and an ending, we know. How long does it last? A few minutes, five, six, ten minutes, and that's it. Ramadan, beginning and end of day, you're finished that one day. And the month, it's done, it's done. Zakat, a very short ibadah. You do, you perform, and that's it. But marriage is the most continuous, the longest, most continuous act of worship that you will commit to and perform. And the proof for this is in the hadith where one of the Sahaba said, Ya Rasulullah, would one of us come to our wives desiring them and we get reward in doing that? Rasulullah said, yes, of course. You get reward. Similarly, if one is to approach haram, they'll be punished by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in this case, when one approaches the halal, they will be given reward by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's an act of worship, an ibadah. So the bond between the two, husband and wife, it should be it's a partnership, not a... And this is one of the worst things I come across, especially in culturally in tune marriages where you have the brother and uh, the sister and the brother says, you know what, I own you. That's, 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 that's the way it works. You become my housemate and whatnot. Khwan, marriage is a partnership. What is the purpose and intent of marriage to begin with? We said an act of worship, but it is where two come together for the sake of pleasing Allah in dunya to achieve Jannah in the Akhir. This is, this is marriage. So when two come together in dunya to please Allah, they partner together, a brother and a sister. They partner up together to help each other, to commit towards each other, to please Allah together, to strive to Allah together. And the end goal is that we will be in Jannah together. That's the whole marriage. Unlike anything else that you would see today, where they pit it as a social transaction, forget that. It is an act of worship a partnership whereby two come together for this explicit intention of pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you get that clear, and you dismiss those cultural ideals, you begin to understand and realize what you want in a wife. It's not that flashy looks on Instagram or whatever they post it up on Facebook and whatnot. Forget all of that. You're looking for a person who is genuine, who really, you know, uh, have, has a constant adab and, and uh, akhlaq and Islam, Islamic ethic, you want that type of person who is consistent towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You don't want the one-off that, you know, appears to be religious, but behind your back will come and stab you a thousand times. You don't want that kind of a person. And the only way to really be sure of what you get married or who you get married to is that you have to have, you know, like I said, approach it properly. Do things in the right way. When you do things in the right way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would give you tawfiq and give you success in the choices that you make by Ibnullah Ta'ala.